Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video. A video inside of Stampy's wonderful world. I'm here, as always, being joined by Elfily. And in our last video, you may have seen it, we were building Lee's room. And this is Lee's room here. Uh, we designed it like a very short and stumpy uh, grandfather clock. And uh, I think we made a th few additions into the last video. I think we added, like, a pillar there. And I think we moved some of the torches. Uh, but apart from that, uh, this is pretty much exactly uh, how you may have seen it in the last video. And if you didn't see the last video, uh, I wouldn't bother watching it. <laughs> pretty selling myself a bit short here, but it wasn't amazing. Well, it was fine. Like, we got it done, but uh, I did some absolutely painful building in it. Uh, but I did make a, um, I made the breaker and the keen war axe of the night, <laughs> which is the most dramatic way to, to have an axe and a hammer. Uh, but yeah, basically now, when I'm building... Uh, I'm not going to be accidentally destroying the walls and the blocks and all sorts. Uh, I'm going to be able to get rid of either just the wall or uh, just the um, like the, the bricks or planks or whatever. And so, yeah, th th that should make things a lot easier. But I must admit, I did tell a lie to you in the last video. At the end of the last video, I told you that I was going to be building a library. Uh, but then uh, it was a, uh, a blood moon. And uh, during blood moons, you're able to buy Vol powder. Uh, which is very important, and because of that, I can now mix my Vol powder uh, with rotten chunks to make worm food, and I can use worm food to try and spawn in uh, the Eater of Worlds. And I left it up to Lee, I said, would you rather face the big monstrous worm beast in the corruption for 20 minutes, or would you like to build a library? And <laughs> unsurprisingly, he immediately got out his sword and was like, right, let's do this. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be facing the uh, the Eater of Worlds in this video, uh, but not just one. We're going to try and kill as many Eater of Worlds during this video as we can. So I probably shouldn't uh, spend so much time wasting time speaking. And look at this. Look at my jungle tree here. From here, like where I'm standing here, to Bowen's head is where my jungle is. You can see the grass is kind of different along here. That is my jungle, and there's one jungle tree grown out of there. <laughs> Stampy's tiny little jungle. I like it. I like the fact that I've got, like, the world's smallest jungle. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and head down to the uh, the corruption, and I'm going to use all of the uh, the vol powder we bought and uh, combine them with the, uh, the rotten chunks. And uh, you need to do that at a demon altar, and uh, you can only find them in the uh, the corruption. I think maybe in hard mode you might be able to craft them or bring them back to your house or something. Uh, that might not be wrong. Uh, that might be wrong, sorry, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, for now, I need to head down to the corruption and use the demon altar uh, to make the worm food. And uh, then, yeah, if you don't know what the uh, the Eater of Worlds is, I have fought it before. You might not have seen it. Uh, it's basically a massive, rather terrifying looking worm. So, um, as I said, I have beat it before, uh, but it was only one. And uh, in this video, uh, we're going to try and do it sort of similar to what I did uh, with the Eye of Cthulhu not long ago and see how many I can defeat uh, in just one video. And oh no, I've got a Devourer or something after me. Anyway, yeah, so how do I make it? Uh, here we go, worm food. One, two, three, four. There we go, I, I can make four of them, uh, but hopefully during the video, I'm going to be able to get some, some more rotten chunks and uh, then I can uh, get some more. I've got 13, and you need 15 in order to make it. It's 30 vile powder, I believe, and 15 rotten chunks. So if I get two more uh, rotten chunks during the video, uh, I should be able to make one more. Uh, but what I'm going to very quickly do now, uh, before facing it, is uh, come to my house, partly uh, to read Lee's joke, uh, but also to get some potions. I think that uh, in order to, to face the uh, the uh, the Eater of Worlds, I should uh, get a bunch of potions with me. So what should I have? Uh, swiftness could be useful. Uh, shine. Uh, I think Iron Skin increases defense. Let's have two Iron Skin potions. Um, we can have... A hunter potion. I'll have one of them. Why not? Seeing as uh, we're going potion crazy right now. Uh, anything else useful? Uh, that may be. I've kind of got health potions anyway. And I don't really use magic. Water walking. Feather fall. Not really. Uh, la nope. I, I, think we're, I think we're just about okay with these potions. So uh, yeah, I can go now and head to the corruption. Oh no, the joke. The joke. I can't forget about the joke. Where is it? Here's the joke room. I need to make this into a proper comedy joke room at some point. Uh, what does it say? Why do skeletons fight? I suppose this is kind of relevant to the video. They don't have the gut. Oh, why don't skeletons fight? They don't have the gut. Maybe they just didn't have any body to fight with. 
<laughs> oh dear, that, that was very funny. <laughs> you, you, you made my uh, my comedy bone laugh there. Does that work? Not really, not really. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So yeah, we're going to go head over to the corruption now and uh, try and spawn in as many as we can. And uh, I don't think it matters uh, whether it's day or night. There's a lot of the bosses uh, you can only spawn in at night. Uh, but I believe for this one, uh, it doesn't actually matter whether it's night or day. Uh, so we should hopefully be able to uh, spawn them in and battle them all day and night. And uh, they're really awesome because it's like a massive big worm. I mean, I probably shouldn't tell you. You're going to see it in a second anyway. But it's like a massive big worm. And when you hit it, it like breaks into smaller pieces. So you don't like keep hitting it until it dies. Uh, you basically like like hit it, then it becomes smaller. And uh, yeah, you've got to be in the corruption. And apparently... According to the Terraria wiki, uh, it needs to be playing the uh, the music, the corruption music. So uh, I think this is the corruption music, maybe. Anyway, let's give it a go. There we go. It's It's been awoken. Right, I'm going to get this uh, rotten flesh out of my inventory. Oh my god, there it is. There it is already. Yeah, because apparently if you try and spawn in another Eater of Worlds, while there's already one Eater of Worlds there, it like kills you pretty much. Like it does like loads of damage on you and pretty much kills you in one. So uh, I guess the trick is uh, to try and break it off into small smaller pieces. I need to break the worm off into smaller, more manageable pieces. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard when it goes through the fall like that. Look, there we go. We've already broken it up. We've already broken it up into to smaller pieces, right? I need to just keep hitting it. Oh, it's getting me trapped. Look, I'm trapped a bit like directly above me. Quick, use my lightsaber. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to use my face blade and try and escape. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I love the way it just breaks up into smaller pieces. It's a little bit gruesome. It's a little bit disgusting. But, like, it is, it's all kind of, like, cartoony and over the top. It just looks really awesome, though. And it moves so unpredictably. Like, it will suddenly, like, rush really quickly forward. And I'll try and dodge out the way. Then it will suddenly, like, slow down for a bit and then start moving again. And, look, we're getting all, like, shadow scales and demonite ore and all loads of, like, amazing stuff. And I believe I can actually... Uh, use a load of this stuff to make a whole load of better armor and I'm getting really hurt here actually I think I'm gonna take out this eater of worlds and uh, then I'm gonna have a health potion to take out the next one But look how many there are They're like loads of just little tiny ones all over the place Just a little baby eater of worlds. They're almost cute. Not quite they're still quite ugly and bony and gooey, but <laughs> they're almost cute when compared to the original one. I just I just love hitting them when they're flying above you. Should I try and hit one with a bow? Should I try and hit one with my demon bow as it flies past? There it goes, there it goes. Rapid fire, rapid fire. I have no idea where it's gone. You need to try and make sure that uh, when you're destroying the bits, it's not under the ground. Because then otherwise you don't get the loot. And there we go, did you see that shot? <laughs> Oh, Robin Hood, eat your heart out. Right, where's where have you gone? Come on, baby eater of worlds. I'm not scared of you. Look, I just got a load of demonite ore. And look at all the um the hearts dropping down. There we go. One down. And look how much demonite ore I got. That's 99 and a bit extra there. And I'm sure Lee picks them up as well during that. <laughs> That's not a bad haul for just one. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Well, I don't actually need a health potion, actually, because uh, it drops all of the hearts. What I might do, though, is get some better bows. I might use some... Um, uh, shall I use some flaming arrows and uh, try and set the uh, the thing on fire? And uh, I might have a uh, I might I might have a, an iron skin potion for this one. So I'm going to have an iron skin potion. I'm going to spawn in Eater of Worlds number two, and then yeah, let's let's do this. Let's get going. One down. Possibly four to go, maybe, uh, depending how quick we get this done. I probably did waste uh, a lot of uh, time at the beginning of the video reading bad jokes and <laughs> and just sort of talking for a while. We, we could have maybe done more, but uh, hopefully uh, we can take out five during the video. Five's uh, quite a nice round number. And look, it's going all the way up here. Right, quick, get it. See the way like it like goes slow, then goes quickly. It's kind of like a roller coaster. But the way like it slowly goes up and then sort of it bends down and just does like a big drop down. What I think I need is some sort of a potion to increase my attack, you know, like it's good when you kind of you get it stuck So it's sort of uh, like, I don't know that like keeps trying to go through you But you keep taking it out and these shadow scales are awesome like they're really rare to get I'm not actually sure how else you get them other than fighting the eater of worlds uh, So it's gonna be good to try and get uh, as many of them as we can and are you stuck down there? <laughs> Lee seems to have found himself in a bit of a sticky situation here. We go. We've broke it off into two now it's in two separate parts. And look at them, they're like going synchronized together. It's like the roller coasters you get where they're like two different like carts that go around, but they're like directly next to each other. And where's it going? Like, has it gone down here? Oh, well, here it is. It's down like under the ground down here. Oh, look, there's a little desert down here. <laughs> and a little green slime. Look, there's a little cactus down here in a nice little mini desert. I'd probably want to get back up to the top so uh, all of the, uh, the stuff that it drops doesn't get lost inside of the walls. And I am getting pretty hurt, actually. I do still have my iron skin potion on it. It lasts for quite a while. I've still got uh, three minutes and 24 seconds left of iron skin, which I think has certainly helped me out. I think I would have been 
uh, a lot more hurt. And I can't believe how much loot it gives you. Like, whenever I'm mining and I see, like, three pieces of demonite ore just in the, like, the wall, I get really excited. And, like, now I'm here, like, every time I hit it, like, loads of demonite ore just falls down. And here we go, it's dropped loads more stuff. Another 39 demonite ore. And, uh, yeah, a load of hearts and flaming arrows and all sorts. So, yeah, look, I've got two stacks of 99, 88 shadow scales, and I've still got two more worm food to spawn in. I do need some more rotten chunks, though, so I can hopefully make another one. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's go straight away and go and spawn the next one in. Right, I'm going to get that out of my inventory so I don't accidentally use it. I uh, just put anything there for now just to block it up. And here it goes. While I was there faffing around with all of that, it comes after me. I don't look like a very brave warrior, do I? <laughs> I'm there with just, like, my little silly hat on and everything. And look at, look at Lee go. Look at Lee just take it out like the entire thing. <laughs> like, I don't look like a, like a brave knight, really, do I? I don't look particularly powerful. And look, we've done so much damage to this one already. It's Lee with his, like, super powerful sword that just absolutely destroys this thing. And only there's some rotten chunks as well. I believe that I've now got enough to um uh, to make some more worm food. So I might be able to, to reach my target and be able to take out five of them in one video which is crazy considering like when I faced this thing at first it was like an entire video trying to face the Eater of Worlds and I've got like powerful enough to where I'm like taking out like, a handful of them in one video, you know? Like, I can take out as many Ether of Worlds as I have fingers and thumbs on one of my hands, you know? It's crazy. <laughs> I think this is probably my, probably my favourite boss, though, in terms of facing. Like, the Eye of Cthulhu's quite cool, uh, but, you know, I've, I've kind of got a bit used to it. And uh, what else is there? There's the, the King Slime, which that was alright. I don't know. It's just a big blob, though, to be honest. It was just a big slime, wasn't it? And then there was the... Um, I can't, I can't remember what else I've faced. Well, I faced very briefly the Wall of Flesh, and I didn't like that one. Because <laughs> it just basically killed me immediately. And, uh, well, oh, there's the, uh, the Skeletron. Uh, he was pretty cool, actually. The Skeletron was pretty cool. But he's just like a one-off. Like, once you've faced him, uh, you can't ever face him again, which is a bit sad. I like this one. I love the way he breaks up into lots of little pieces and stuff. It's pretty cool. All right, let's try and use my bow and uh, try and get the, uh, the last final hit on him. All right, where is he coming from? Where's he going to come from? I'm going to hit him. Look at my reactions. Go, 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 go. Have I got him? Have I got him? No, I'm just missing with every single shot. I'm not entirely sure how effective the flame arrows are. I think they're probably a little bit more dangerous for us as I fire them into the air than they come straight back down and nearly hit us on the head. All right, I reckon, what, like one more blow? Is this the last bit? Can I get him? Oh, look, look at that bit. It just flew straight into me. I think it regretted it. All right, the last section. Is that it? Come on, get it, get it, get it. He's a coward. He's a coward. He knows when he's going to die. Then he just goes and buries his head in the uh, the ground like an ostrich. And I want to be careful, actually. I'm getting very close to the uh, the edge of the uh, the corruption. If I go outside of the corruption, uh, I believe that it despawns. Uh, so I do want to be very careful with that. Uh, anyway, uh, I've got enough rotten chunks to spawn another one. And in so much stuff, like so much purple stuff, like Val Mushroom, Shadow Scales, Val Powder, Demonite, like everything in my inventory is just purple, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, let's not waste time. Let's spawn another one in. Uh, can I, I could use another potion. Um, I'm going to use another Iron Skin now because that was just about to run out. And uh, I think I might have a, a Swiftness potion as well just to, uh, to speed things up. And uh, here we go. This is the, the last worm food that I have on me. Uh, but as I said, once I've defeated this one, uh, I can go back down to the uh, the demon altars and get some more. And this is the best time to get it. Like, sometimes it just moves really slowly. And you can just do absolutely, like, loads of damage like this. Oh, look at it. It's, like, all whirling all over me. But, like, while I've got iron skin, like, it hardly hurt it hurts me. Like, throughout all of that, I lost quarter of a heart. Not even half a heart. Like, once I've got this, uh, this uh, iron skin potion, I can just charge in. I need to make sure that uh, I've got a whole bunch of them so when I do uh, finally go and face the uh, the wall of flesh properly, uh, I've got a whole load of iron skin potions just to uh, try and protect me from it. Like, I'm sure it won't be enough. I'm sure I'm going to need a whole load of other potions and better armor and stuff. But uh, yeah, I didn't actually realize uh, how much good protect uh, protection it gives you. Uh, I am also wearing uh, a bunch of like um, shields and stuff on me as well, to be fair. Like when I'm doing like a building video, uh, I wear a tool belt. Uh, but when I know I'm going out battling, I have like a, it's like a coal belt shield or something, which um, uh, puts my defense up as well. And I think uh, has been helping me out. Right, here he goes. He's coming straight back in. And look at that load of demonite and shadow scales and all sorts. And uh, what I need to do after the video is go uh, back to my house and just see what new I can craft. I think there's some, there's some special like demonite greaves that I know I can get. I think I need them. Uh, yeah, I've only got the necro ones at the moment. Uh, but apart from that, I'm not sure what else I can... Um, I can make because uh, in the last video I made a axe and hammer and uh, I've already got like a, a demonite pickaxe, like a shadow pickaxe, whatever it's called. So, um, yeah, I don't know what else I can make with it. 
Um, maybe there's nothing else, you know, maybe this is all a big waste of time, but actually something I haven't looked at, has it dropped any gold coins? I'm not actually sure if it has, oh it has, I've got two gold coins, uh, which isn't very many considering that um, we have faced a lot of them, but uh, there's a good chance that maybe Lee's got a few of them as well from battling it, which would, uh, should be pretty good. I think he does, he does, he's jumping up and down saying yes. <laughs> that's our little Terraria sign language, when he jumps up and down that's him saying yes. <laughs> right, so once we've taken out this one, uh, I'm going to go down and uh, make some more worm food. And I reckon, Lee, for the final one, uh, we should do what we did with the Eye of Cthulhu and let me have a go 1v1. So for the final one, it's going to be me against the Eater of Worlds 1v1 just to see uh, whether I am actually strong enough to do some damage or whether uh, Lee was actually the one doing all of the, uh, all of the damage against him. <laughs> right, so I should uh, have enough. Uh, to go and spawn in another one, I do believe. And uh, maybe even two more. Right, one. No, there we go. J just just one more. So yeah, here, here's the final one. If I do manage to take this one out uh, without dying, that will be like a, like a 5 to 0 KD spread for me. In one video as well. Five Eater of Worlds in one video. This is absolutely crazy. <laughs> oh dear. It's a really good way for to get loads of material though. You know, like if you have been trying to get... Uh, enough demonite and stuff all you need to do is wait for a blood moon and then buy like as much vol powder as you can afford and then go and spawn them all in oh it's gone really dark now hasn't it actually has it got darker than it was i think it's um uh, properly becoming night like it's kind of hard to know whether it's uh, day or night when you're here okay lee you're not allowed to attack it it's gonna be me 1v1 against it and it's already hurting me why isn't my iron skin helping me so much like, I've still got iron skin and I've still got, like, another one minute and a half of iron skin. I might as well have this last potion, uh, the hunter potion. Uh, basically shows me where the uh, the enemies are. Like, they kind of glow, sort of funky. <laughs> it's all like they've all, um, it's as if they've all been eating glow sticks all day or something. They're all sort of, like, glowing kind of neon and stuff. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. It's like a disco eater of worlds. <laughs> it's having a rave, you know. There's a lot of people dancing inside of it. <laughs> it does actually make it easier. You can see it easy when it's under the ground. And especially now it's uh, night. The whole thing kind of uh, glows up a lot better. Like, you can see the whole thing under it. I don't like the way it moves. It moves like a proper worm. And I don't know, Lee got taken out. <laughs> Lee wasn't even facing it and he still managed to get taken out. Okay, now I'm actually scared because Lee's like even stronger than me and oh no, it's getting right close to me. Right, use the um, the lightsaber I guess on it for a bit. It does do quite a lot of damage. Like, it doesn't do as much damage as the uh, uh, the other weapon, the Sun Fury, whatever it's called, but I can swing it really quickly. It is kind of worth it. And here it goes. This is the best time to get it when it's sort of just charging straight at me. I can go and just take loads of it out. I am getting hurt though. It's, it's almost got me down to, to half health. Look at it. It's just, it's proper going a aggressive now. I think I've just killed all of its brothers and sisters <laughs> because I killed all of the other Eaters of the World. This is, this one's trying to go like fully after me to try and get revenge. I think it's almost gone now though. I'm going to get my bow and arrow just so I can get the last few bits. Oh no, there is still quite a lot of it left. Is it like extra big or something? I swear this one's like bigger and stronger than the uh, the past ones were. I guess maybe I'm just fighting it by myself so it's uh, probably taking uh, longer for me to, uh, to be able to take it out. And where's it gone? I think it's gone down low after Lee's somewhere. I think Lee's lured it like down into this tunnel. I don't want to face it down here. I want to face it up top so um uh, when all of the uh, the loot drops, uh, I'm able to go and like pick it all up without it getting stuck inside the walls. And you're not helping little eaters as well. Like they don't do much damage when I'm trying to fight the massive eater of worlds. The last thing I want to deal with is a load of the other little eaters coming after me. And here we go, doing loads of damage on it there. I don't know what else I should use. I should have probably brought some, like, I don't know, like, some bombs or, like, shurikens or just some sort of other weapons to go and uh, try and take it out as well. I mean, I'm doing fine, though. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it. I'm pretty sure it's just down to, like, a matter of time. Like, I, I, like, I've got no real worry about dying now. Like, my health is going up so quick. I don't even think I've had to use a health potion. Like, the good thing is, like, when you kill them... Uh, it drops like a load of hearts. It basically like gets you ready for the next one. And I know there's only like a little tiny bit left of it. Right, can I hit it with an arrow? Come on, it's coming after us. Come on, go on, poke your head up. It's thinking about it. Oh no, there is another one. <laughs> He's still got a friend. <laughs> Do you reckon if I just hit it in half and then just left it, they would, it would like become friends with itself. But, like I'd leave it for a while and I'd come back and there'd just be two halves of the same worms just like having a chat or having a little dinner party or something. <laughs> and there we go. I did it! We managed to defeat it! Whoop, whoop, whoop! Right, let's magic mirror back to the uh, the house quickly. And uh, why don't you throw me um, all of your stuff, uh, all of the stuff you picked up, and then we can uh, see exactly uh, how much stuff it gave me. Uh, so is Lee going to magic mirror back here? I think he had to. I think he had to to destroy a bit of the clock so he's able to to set it as his spawn. <laughs> we can maybe move your bed bed down here or something. Right, let's see how much loot I've got. Look at it! Look at all the purple. I got 
99 shadow scales there, 12 there, another 99 shadow scales, and look at all of this, look at all of this, um, all of the demonite ore. That is crazy. That is an absolutely silly amount of it, all in one video as well. I can make so much stuff out of this. I should have a quick look down uh, on my anvil and see what I can make. And look, he's glowing. Why, why are my people glowing? These guys aren't enemies. That doesn't mean that they're traitor. Brett, are you a traitor? Why are you glowing? You're not an enemy. <laughs> anyway, let's go down here and let's see uh, what I'd be able to craft. I don't know whether I can actually make anything new. Um, there's no real new hammer or actors I can make. I think I need to go and, uh, if I use the furnace, I can make some of the, uh, the demonite into demonite bars. Uh, because that's actually what you need. I think that you don't really um you don't really do much with the demonite ore. I think there might be some sort of brick or something like demonite brick you can make, uh, which we could use, uh, which would be a good like reason for having loads of it if you're using it in like the background. Uh, a meteor hammax. Um, I've had enough of hammaxes for now. Uh, there's a bow. I've already got the bow. Uh, I think I've already got the sword. Uh, meteor shot. A uh, poison knife. Is there nothing new I can make? Short swords. Um. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. I know I can make the armor. The armor is something that I can definitely make. I can make some shadow greaves, so I can go and uh, put these on straight away. So that is something good that's come out of it. And uh, I believe these are strong. So yeah, six defense compared to five defense. Uh, so that's an upgrade. Uh, I don't want the other uh, helmet because I like that helmet. Is there everything then? Is there nothing new fancy that I can make? I don't think there is really. That's a bit of a shame, but it's good to have all of the uh, the demonite ore though, just for uh, anything in the uh, the future that I want to craft. The shadow scales as well uh, are also pretty awesome. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was pretty much 20 minutes of constant battling, so uh, I think after this video I need to go and have a sit down for a bit and relax. And in the next video, uh, we can chill out for a bit more and just do some buildings and uh, build a nice little library up here some way. Uh, so yeah, I'll try and make it entertaining if I can, but <laughs> yeah, I feel like I do definitely uh, want to get this hotel finished, because we're doing well. Like, it's almost completely filled in now it's just this one little space here that we need to fill in if I show you on the map uh, it looks pretty cool as well if I show you it here there we go here's my my treetop hotel and if you look at Lee's room up there it looks a little bit like a little smiley face you can see like this blue eyes and stuff <laughs> and why did you enable pvp I've had enough fighting Lee I'm not fighting you I know you're gonna win <laughs> anyway that's about the end of this video here I want to thank you all very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode bye